So we did a video recently about viewports and I don't think I did enough um, to show you how Nomad has really come on with things like the, the, you know, the equivalent thing to quad view. So let's have a look at this video where we'll say load in some images and background references from our new course and I'll show you how to set up the background images with the camera views. So we've covered this exact topic in exactly this format in our, our new creature course and it's really important if you're doing a creature course and you've got references to have it in the background as references. So um, let me just work through this for you and show you how we do it. So if I've got a model, we can see that the grid is on there um, in the background um, and you've got perspective on for the moment. Red, uh, left and right, which is your X axis. And if you put gizmo on, you can see blue there is is basically from from our front axis. So that's that is our Z axis. So what we want to do is put reference images in in the background. So simply all we would do is go perspective off, snap to the front and lock it. And then we'll go up to our references and we we'll switch the references on here. So I've already got one loaded in there and I've got mine. My image that I used was actually the size of an iPad screen. So if your image is from a screenshot from an iPad or if it's if it is that exact size, then I use position X and Y of zero and zero, 360 rotation. So it's not rotated at all. And the scale I use is 1.33. That is if it's the same as I've got here. So that now, if you do a four finger tap, you can see that fits perfectly into, uh, into the frame. Now, what you can do is move uh, the, the default sphere into place, four fingers again. It's already locked, so you can't rotate it. So that's perfect. Go to move tool and basically move the body volume to there and we'll go we'll bring that all the way down and bring it in so make sure it's spot on in the middle move the shoulders out a little bit and the back up a bit like that and that's roughly where we want to be for our for the size of our body but now we want another view so what we can do is we can save this view so we go camera i'm going to delete any that are in there i'm going to go add view and I'm going to name this one front, F-R-O-N-T. I'll get it right in a moment. And then with that view saved like that, you can call that back at any time. But before we do that, let's, let's add another. So let's, let's unlock it, rotate it around to the side, snap it again by hitting left. And then we need another background image. So we'll go and call up another one. So we'll, we've already loaded in another one for the side and scaled it the same way. So now we want to just get our uh, body in exactly the same position. And now what we want to do is go to move again. And then we'll just move it back from the side and start you know, using that, that, that image at the background as our, as our reference image. So... It was roughly in the right sort of place. We didn't lock it, so let's lock it again for the time being and just roughly block out the size that we wanted from the back there. And unlock it and let's just go camera, add a view. And this one we'll call it side. And then we'll do one more. So we'll go rotate it around here snap it to the back make sure it's in the middle same height and dimensions go on down here and let's have a look and see if we've got one for the back which we don't so you can import one in so i'll go to photos i'll import the back one add it in it's the right it's the right scale and size it's all come in the right the right shape and size because basically we've already got it plugged in for that size of image um so we'll come up here and we'll go add a view and we'll call this one back and there you've now got three front side and back so you can tap through them and they'll switch through like that if you're sculpting and you have a really nice default sculpt one then you know give that position that the position that you like you can turn the reference image off turn perspective on and that could be your default sculpt position so if you go back to camera and go add and then name that one and we'll just call that perspective 
and that brings you back to your sculpt mode. So now at the top, you've got these different uh, previous, next, add view and save. So you can switch between each one. And that's the same as going to your quad views in other programs. So and notice there, it goes from perspective to orthographic. Perspective, orthographic, reference image in the background, no reference image. So I didn't cover that well enough last time, and I think that's crucial. It was really crucial for me for our latest course, the one that's just come out. Um, and obviously doing creatures for beginners, this is the perfect way to do it. Don't forget, if you're on a, something like that, what you can do is go back into your reference image and you can either bring the overlay to make your model um, you know, transparent. I like to have outline on a lot. So we put outline on and we'll change the outline to a color that we can see. So something like green, so you can really see what you've got and they can see how bright that green is. Make it even thicker and then Going back there, if you change the transparency, you can still see it quite quite well. And you can also change the opacity of the background. And that means you can have it just, just slight like that as, as you're working. Um, and then all the time, you can just go back up here and just go back into your views like that. So that's a really good tip, especially, especially, especially for beginners. If you're if you're just beginning to model in something like this, this is a great way to put reference art in that's exactly how you want to sculpt it. And if you're good at drawing, then why not draw it all out first from the side and the, and the back just to make sure you got the scale in right. But I just thought that was a great tip and a great, a great time to clarify it as we're using it heavily in the Crab King course. I hope you like these videos and if you do please give us a thumbs up it does help us to get in front of other people who like this kind of content and if you like it enough to give us a thumbs up then why not subscribe to the channel and we'll let you know when we upload content which is every week <laughs>